Hello everyone and welcome back to Lakeside and uh, as a few of you may have seen on Facebook I did put a post up on um, the group saying that I hadn't been in a particularly good place over these last few weeks um, which is why I haven't done any videos recently and what I have done has been a bit kind of mediocre but this video I'm going to try and keep as short as I possibly can so you're not bored to tears but I, I just wanted to put my, my point of view across of why um, I've been like I have um, and pretty much it's, it's down to the fact that I have became very very low um, like many people are at the moment for their own reasons um, but I do have reasons and that's really what I want to go through with you today so you get an understanding of, of what's going on you don't have to sympathize with me or I'm not asking for that I just want to explain to you what's been going on in my life um, to bring me to this point I also want to just briefly go over with you my plans now for Lakeside um, which is good stuff, it's, it's not, I'm not giving up or anything, so don't get worried about that. Um, now you'll have to excuse the way I'm speaking at the moment because I've got a wobbly tooth at the bottom here, right at the front, and that's coming out on Wednesday, hopefully. Um, so I, I do lisp a little bit. Um, plus the fact I've now got conjunctivitis in this eye. So I'm doing well at the moment. <laughs> um, so going back to what I wanted this video to be about was why I've been feeling the way I have and I guess it all starts from when <coughs> Hazel my wife was ill two and a half years ago and that brought me down obviously and uh, we went through that together for 18 months and that was a horrendous time and after that things were okay Hazel got better she's absolutely fine now absolutely no problem at all so that's, that's brilliant <coughs> unfortunately a year ago last week uh, my youngest brother-in-law died of bowel cancer and he was only 66 I think 65 um, which came as a real shock when he was diagnosed with it and three months later he succumbed so I was obviously upset about that a week ago today my other brother-in-law succumbed to cancer and he was the middle of the three of us so I'm the remaining brother-in-law left who's the eldest and that kind of then broke the camel's back I think um, from again diagnosis reasonably early on to when he succumbed was very short but in that short period of time, bugger did he suffer. Um, he really had a hard time, bless him. And <clears throat> I think that really took me over the edge, if you like. And I think it was all mainly down to the fact that what with Hazel, my youngest brother-in-law, and then him, it kind of made me rethink my life and my re remaining life if you like um, as to how little time we have left well I have left um, but you know what woke me up was the fact that with cancer or any other illness really to be honest with you you just do not know you do not know you one day you could be absolutely fine and feeling great next minute you're not dead but you might as well be um, you know you, you never get, want to give up hope of course you don't and 
but with these two brother-in-laws there really was no hope for them uh, right from the get-go so <clears throat> it kind of got me thinking as to what I want to do where I want to be what I've got to do um, but in that stage of a couple of weeks ago until now I've been extremely low um, I wouldn't say I was depressed um, yeah I'm pissed off um, and I'm low uh, I'm angry at what's happened but of course all these things you can't really control so I've had long talks with people uh, especially uh, my dear wife Hazel bless her she's been an absolute nursing nightingale she, she's been absolutely fabulous <clears throat> I've been able to talk to her like I haven't been able to talk to anybody else and that's really helped me um, and I needed that I needed somebody to be there so that I could express my feelings for her to explain what's going on because obviously she knows what's going on um, and she's given me a lot of encouragement um, to the point where uh, I, I feel as if I'm on the right side now I've, I've got a long way to go I know that um, but at least I think I'm on the other side now a lot of my close friends who I correspond with know that over the last two three years I've been on an up and down up and down okay one minute as low as a snake's belly in the gutter the next <coughs> and uh, it, it's been uncontrollable I, I, there is absolutely nothing I could do about it it just comes over me and I'm as low as low. With my brother-in-law passing a week and a half ago, that really put the end to it all. I, I was gobsmacked. I was upset to see my lovely sister-in-law really taken aback by it all. She's been under a lot of stress as well. We've been rushing here, there and everywhere, trying to support her where we can. So there's been a lot of pressure as well. So it's made my life recently a bit of a mess. And it kind of just took me over. And I'm not afraid to say it, you know, it's one of those things. I know that there are thousands of people out there going through the same sort of thing right now as me uh, for different reasons um, but we, all, we all have our own personal reasons why we feel like this um, so that's the reason why I wanted to make this video because I've looked at some of my videos and you can kind of tell that something ain't quite right and if I can see it then probably other people have seen it as well <coughs> and have queried it, not said anything but queried it so I just wanted to put the the facts out there so that you know what's been going on I am trying to my bet, very best to try and overhaul this and the way I'm doing that is by talking um, and thinking of solutions of why I'm, do, I'm feeling the way I have felt and the solutions on bloody tooth um, the solutions on how to rectify it um, now when you're talking and thinking about these things what I've been doing I've been listing all the things which matter to me, all the things which I want to do, all the things I don't want to do. Um, and as regards Lakeside, I have come up with a plan. And 
the plan is that I'm absolutely, definitely carrying on with Lakeside without a shadow of a doubt. It means too much to me. But I'm going to modify my thoughts on the actual layout itself. Um, so what I've decided to do is to finish the layout by this time next year. And I know what everybody's saying, you never ever finish a model railway layout. I, I know that. But what I'm saying to you is that I want to finish the basic construction so that every single side is finished um, uh, with the canal, the turntable, the engine sheds, that little bit of wall over there I want to do with the road. So I want to clear all this up. I want to do the lake. I want to mount, again, the manor house back up. So that when I walk up here, it looks pretty much finished. Um, all apart from the flapping around that you still want to do. The little details you want to add here, the little details you want to add there. Um, so that's when I say I want to get it finished, but it really won't be quite finished, but it? it never will be. Um, so that's my plan. Now to do that I'm going to simplify everything. Um, so where I was saying I'm going to have a moving lock gate over there with a moving barge and everything, that's gone. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have a canal but I'm just going to have an ordinary canal um, laid up with a probably a ready built lock gate which will be fixed it'll just be a normal static lock gate with a canal running up to the other end that way I can then finish all that side do the lake and then that'll be done now I will still even having said that I will still add all the detail like I normally do um, but it won't create so much time and effort by doing the lock gate and the moving barge etc because there's a hell of a lot of work involved in that and that's going to take up too much time I just want to come up here finish that finish what's over there put my turntable back in job done then I can concentrate on little bits to, to finish off really um, <clears throat> until I want to see something else modified and then of course it won't start again. I know it'll never be finished but it'll be finished in my mind in that I've got pretty much the whole layout done apart from the bits and pieces. I came up the day before yesterday to have a mooch around. I took a few shots of the locos um, and while I was up here I wanted to try and find out if I can why that line is dead over back there. Um, by platform one, and I found a reason. I don't know if it will reach this far, but I don't know if you can see here. It's a, it's a cable come completely away, the main feed cable. So that just needs hooking up to the, to the main 12 volt system, and that should be it. So that was good because you know that's the first time I've looked at that in months. I've just been getting away with it, if you like. So that's pretty much about the video I think I need to go into. I apologise profusely if um, I've said or not said things on previous videos. Um, trying to get away with it, if you like. Um, but. I didn't really at that time particularly want to go into things, it didn't seem such a big deal, other people have got their own problems, I've got, we've got our problems, um, so it's just all, it's life, you know, it's utter life and you have to get on with it and uh, do the best you can, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I hope that having done this video I will feel better 
after I finish this video. I will better, feel better. I'm dying to get this tooth out. I really am. Um, I will feel better in myself that I've told people the situation. I hope that you understand. Um, if not, <laughs> tough. Nothing I can do about that. But I'm sure the majority of my subscribers would fully understand where I'm coming from and um, just be uh, ready for me for when I return properly. <coughs> uh, and I should be hopefully back to my normal self. Um, so that's about it really. Uh, I've just got to get over this tooth thing. I'm going to have a massive gap down there so I hope that the dentist can make either a plate up or a bridge or something um, later on. Um, and I hope my conjunctivitis heals up quick because uh, that's driving me nuts at the moment. It's quite blurry out of this one eye so I'm not driving very much. If at all really, I can't remember the last time I drove. Um, so yeah, that, that's it. I'm not going to waffle on. You, you know the score now. Bear with me please. And uh, I will be back to my full strength. And uh, <clears throat> hopefully I can now push all this stuff which has been with me for two and a half years behind me and I can start moving forward. I've now made plans to do what I want to do. I know where I'm going. The Gentry kit car, I've hardly done anything on that this year like I wanted to. Um, but that's okay. That's in the garage. That, that can wait and I can carry on with that next year. Uh, I might even carry on during the winter if we've got decent days I can still be out there doing stuff uh, so it needn't wait till next year but we'll have to wait and see on that as regards weather and so forth and, um, but hopefully I will be in a better frame of mind a better place and I'll be able to get my mojo back again for that plus Lakeside um, I, I came up yesterday or the day before I think. I, I just love it up here. I love the layout. I, I love what I've done. Um, I, I'm certainly not going to give it up. Certainly not going to give it up. Uh, there's, there's too much blood, sweat and tears has gone into this and there's no way I want to give this up. Not if I can help it. You know, it all depends on health doesn't it. Um, but at the moment apart Apart from my wobbly tooth and conjunctivitis, I, I feel fine. I feel fine. Physically, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Um, so that, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. So I still have to keep saying to myself the good things I've got. I'm very, very lucky. Very lucky in what I have. Not just materialistic, but everything else. <coughs> um, got a wonderful wife, wonderful dog. My life should be great. Um, it's just stuff around me has uh, got hold of me really and uh, brought me down. But Forston will survive and will rise again. I have no doubt about that. No doubt whatsoever. Okay. I'm sorry about what I've been saying might be upsetting, it might not be upsetting, and you might have turned off by now and gone home. But and I, I wouldn't blame you to be honest with you. Um, but I just want to get this off my chest so you know exactly what's going on with me so that you can now look back on other videos and go, Yeah, I was right, I did think there was something not quite right there, you know. And there wasn't, but there wasn't something quite right. Um, and I've had that for like, say, two and a half years. Just trying to keep it back all the time, which has been the wrong thing to do. Anyway, that's it. So the next video for Lakeside, hopefully I will be doing the canal over that bit. Um, <clears throat> I will, I'm looking around, I've got three um, kits which I'm going to choose from as regards getting a pre-made lock gate system. 
Um, so I shall be choosing one of those over the next day or so, ordering it so that I've got that to put in and then that will be the start of that side to finish. Thank goodness, I am itching to get that lake done. Absolutely itching, because it's been like that for, how long have I been doing this layout? Three years, I guess, something like that. Um, <clears throat> and it's still the same. So I want to get it finished, definitely. Uh, okay, that's it. So um, I will see you again shortly in another video, hopefully. Maybe even next week, if I can get the gates ordered and delivered, that'll be the first job to do. Then this bit, the turntable back in and installed and working. Um, got my point ready here, ready to get over to there. Um, so it's all ready. Just needs me to get my finger out my bum and get on with it. <laughs> okay, people. Thank you for listening, and uh, I will catch you again very, very soon, I hope. Okay? You might see me with a gap just here, though. So, I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Bye, peeps.